There's a perception, a perception that millennials are the most sustainable and conscious generation in the history of the United States. There's a perception that we care about deforestation, about energy efficiency, and about climate change worldwide. And we do. But as all you parents and employers know out there, our intentions as millennials don't always match our actions. According to a 2013 study by Ecolab, millennials are actually 17% less likely to recycle than you, the general population. And when AdAge surveyed millennials like me and asked us to recall a single green brand that actively supports the green movement, over 50% of us couldn't name a single one. Now, I want to be clear about what green brands are. Green brands are any company or movement that highlights its social impact or its low environmental impact as the main reason to buy its products. So we know that we care about sustainability. We know we care about the green movement, but we simply aren't buying green products. So what's the problem? Well, in my experience as a millennial and founder of a green soap company, I stumbled on a revolutionary simple idea. This idea that millennials aren't willing to compromise. When we first started the company, we created effective and non toxic laundry pods, and we sold them that way. We said how much better they were for the environment, for a house, for your health, and for your kids. And the simple fact was we had a dynamic failure. We didn't gain any traction. So we pivoted. Through scores of customer interviews and research, we realized what we needed to say. Rather than highlighting first the sustainability, we flipped it. And we highlighted the product efficacy, the product excellence, and then supported that with our product sustainability. When we did that, in just one month, we were fully funded on Kickstarter and were featured on the Boston Globe. The truth is, is that millennials don't just want a healthy product. They need a better product. They need a product that matches sustainability, product design, product efficacy, and is manufactured by a sustainable supply chain. I'm going to give you a better example. I'm going to give you an example of the product I'm wearing on my face right now that I hope makes me look handsome enough for all the single women in the audience. <laughs> This company is called Warby Parker. Warby Parker saw That the glassware industry was dominated by the company Luxottica, and that this company had horrible disposal and distribution processes. So, what they did, they started a company. In just five years, Warby Parker was valued over $1.2 billion and sold millions of glasses around the world. Their overwhelmingly main customer, millennials, age 18 to 35. When you go online, you see their product efficacy, making you the most handsome person, and also their amazing brand as a company. But guess what? They're a responsible company. They have a one to one model so that for every product you purchase, they give a pair to someone in need. Their company is also carbon neutral and is a B Corporation. But if you go on your website, on their website, you won't see that. What you'll see is the best glasses. With the best price and the best design, they had to pivot and reprioritize their messaging. But this reprioritization doesn't just matter for companies trying to sell products, it matters for nonprofits trying to raise money, for parents trying to talk to their kids, and also for movements and initiatives trying to retain and attract millennial talent. The simple truth is, is that we want too much. Now, this goes from everything from Netflix, and yeah, you guessed it, Tinder. We want everything at the tips of our fingers. And if we started to switch, and if millennials started to buy more responsible products, would it matter? Yes. In just 10 years, millennials were surpassed the baby boomers as the most powerful and economically grand generation in the history of the United States. We will make up over 74 million people and have an annual spending of over $3.5 trillion. This compounded. Over the lifetime of a millennial is equal to over $160 trillion fused into the economy and the world. This number that you see here has the power to revolutionize the global supply chain and product mix from everything of how we get our products, how we use our products, and how we dispose of our products. So, this talk is a plea 
for companies to effectively market so that millennials like us can buy your product, and for millennials to understand the value in our dollar. So let's all join together and make responsible brands sexy, <laughs> and sexy brands responsible. Thank you so much.